In this video, I will be talking about status reports in Priority Matrix. For many, status reports are a necessary evil where they have to take time out of their workday to write up what they've been doing for their boss. Priority Matrix makes this process a little easier in a couple different ways. First of all, Priority Matrix creates a couple automatic status reports for you. When you go to manage your email preferences, you can opt to have Priority Matrix send you both daily and weekly email reports. These reports will look something like this. Now if you ever want to go back and look at a report from the past, don't worry, you don't have to go to your inbox and search for it. You can simply go to Priority Matrix, click on your reports, and then select, rather than the activity, select reports, and as you can see there are a couple different options with many different date ranges. So you've got top weekly items, you've got your last seven days, and then you can open it up. It'll be very similar to the email you got. Or what you can do is you can also open up your last seven days and it'll look slightly different. And you can also open up your weekly productivity insights, as well as your daily updates course across different time frames as you wish, whether it's a particular week or month. And another great thing is that you can actually click on the PDF option. You can get the PDF and share it with whomever you would like. Now perhaps you need a rundown of something and you need it on the fly. Well, you can combine the master list with filters. Let me show you how. So I will start out in the master list and I will select items from all my quadrants. And then what I'll do is I will filter down to items owned by myself, unfinished items, and I will narrow it down to show due date with a range of today to the next two weeks. And here we have my complete list of everything that I need to do in the two next weeks. And then I can, of course, copy this down in a different format, or I can just show it on the screen. Now let's say, however, that I want to look at my finished items from the past month. I'll just then select the time frame to completion date for the past month. And then we get an entire status report of everything that I've done. And of course, I can look at details, see when exactly I completed it, and understand all the context I would need to present that report. 